Hi there, my name's Elizabeth and I like to sew smart. Welcome to my temporary sewing room and today I'm going to show you a Christmas Cathedral window. Every year a sewing group that I belong to, make, each person makes one block and our names are all put into a drawer and one person, when their name is drawn out, they get all of the blocks to make their Christmas quilt. I think it's a really nice idea and you might take it on for your own groups. So. Come along with me. This is my block that I've submitted for this year. As I said, it's cathedral window and it's very easy to put together. So today you can learn just how easy it is. When I made my square, I had to make it less than 12 and a half inches square. So I actually made mine much smaller than I'm doing today. But for the purpose of this exercise, I'm making using five inch blocks, five inch squares, cut squares, and for that you will need 16 of your background, you will need 20 white ones or a, a, a tone on tone, and you will need five of a nice Christmas print. Use what you've got in your cupboard if you can. So you'll have 16 of your background, 20 of the white, and five of the Christmas print. Before you start, this is a handy idea, you will have to have these folded diagonally in half. So iron them all, put a nice crease in them, iron them quite accurately if you can, and then we're ready to start. First of all, lay your 16 background squares out, just like I've got here on the table. You've then got your 20 white triangle pieces. You're going to lay them out. going to put them just so like that in each corner. You will pin them together more accurately than I'm laying them out. So you've got one, two top squares now. And we're going to be working in a set of four squares. So we're going to lay this one out as well. And there'll just be one different, and that will be your center one. I'll show you that. and you'll be left with a centerpiece that you will have to lay out exactly the same but it will look as if you're covering up all the center. You're not actually covering it up at all, it will work out really well. So you lay that out just so and what we're going to be working on, I'll leave those there and those there and those there, we're going to be working on just this one corner. So this is our corner square. This is the block of four squares that we're going to put together and all four corners are virtually the same. Now line up your triangle very nicely. I'm going to pin this in the middle here because I want it to sit nice and flat and accurately into the corners. So I'll put another one in here like so. I'm now going to flip those two over like that. Line up your triangles underneath. Make sure they come together at the corners and I'm going to pin again down this side. Oops, Daisy. Take your time with it because remember you've got four layers of fabric here. I have actually got a quarter inch stick. I've lined my corners up. They meet perfectly that way and at the top there. I have drawn a line using my little quarter inch stick and that's going to be my stitch line all the way down. Check as you're going down that you've got everything lined up really nicely. And then, there's your seam. You will end up with this. 
you've got a quarter inch seam at the bottom and that's the first half of your block. The reason you need to be quite accurate with your quarter inch seam is I've got my little quarter inch acrylic stick here because when you come to sew this block to another block the turn back that you're going to put on your window you don't want to be sewing across here you want your seam hold that down you want your seam to be right up to the point just there Press the seam on the back open, press it really nice and flat because when you put it up there, when you join it to the next one, you're also going to have this thickness again. So that's your bottom one. As I said, I just showed you, make sure you've got your points nice in there. Now what I'm going to do is I have pinned these on. Now remember this is, um, this is one corner this is another section we've got we had this there this is actually the middle section here so we're going to do the same thing again flip that over and sew down there but pin this securely on because your seam will go over just over the end there so make sure they fit nice and tidy into the corners I've stitched this one together just the same as I stitched this so you see this was the spare piece in the corner you now have a nice quarter inch seam along there and you'll have obviously the same this end I've pressed open the seam on the back probably could do it a bit better press than that and now this piece here is going to be joined to that piece there don't worry if it doesn't quite meet in the middle because when you come to put the insert in your window you'll have a piece like that and then this will be folded back like so. So this will not be seen. So if you are a little bit out don't unpick it in the middle here because it will be absolutely fine. So now I'm going to join the top and the bottom together in the same way using quarter inch seam. This was the square I was working on and as you see it's a complete square now. I have also sewn exactly the same way the remaining three squares. Now the next step I've left some pins in incidentally so that you can see when you pin these pieces together although they are caught in the seam allowance there you do need to secure it so you don't get it off the diagonal. So pin as much as you can. Don't pin right up to your stitch line obviously because that is not a good thing to do. So I've done that one. All I'm going to do now, I will just take those two pins out of there. I'm going to flip that over exactly the same as I did for the bottom sections and I'm going to line it up. So I'm going to line that with that and I'm just going to do a quarter inch seam again, pin it and do a quarter inch seam down there. So I will have that as one piece then and then I will sew it together top to bottom. I'll repeat it for that one and then sew it together top to bottom. square which is 18 and a half inches actually is now all joined together and all my points are quite good here and here the next thing you need to do is because this is going to be in your window so this is a again a five inch square so just line it up with your diagonal seams what we're going to do is we're going to 
turn it over from this point to this point like so and just pin that now because you've got a little corner piece there I'm going to tuck that one under bring that one over the top there, so that you don't get a raw seam you don't get a raw edge underneath there so I'll turn all those under and pin them like so this one again so you see it comes out to the edge there we'll turn that over and pin that and this one and we'll pin that as well make sure that your window insert is nice and flat you can use a little bit of adhesive spray adhesive if you're unsure whether it's going to lay flat it doesn't have to be perfect because you've got quite a lot of seams underneath but we're going to do this on each block so we'll put another one in here like so and that will go there I'll get my little thing so you can get a better view of that so you'll see it comes to meet just in this corner here and it's going to line up with this one here so pin them all and then one at a time we're going to stitch around there as close to that edge as possible top stitch there all the way around and that will secure our window and once we've done that I'll come back and show you again I've started by stitching from this corner around on the top to there I've gone into the second corner now do take your time with this and keep it really close to the edge keep your needle down right into this corner into the corner there, turn it and just switch that round if you can see that and we're just going to slip over that fold there and then you're going to sew down here again all the way to all four points. I've stitched all the way around each one of these as you can see nice and flat nicely stitched in don't worry if it's a little bit full because when it's quilted or when you make a cushion top or anything from it it fills out so you won't see any little extra pieces remember this is one thickness and this is several thicknesses so you will get that effect anyway now that is 18 and a half inches square that I've demonstrated on this because I'm actually going to turn this into a cushion cover but by using different background fabrics you can get a totally different look so you could use all different if you wanted and then you'd just get a different look but I've used the Christmas one because this is my Christmas cathedral you could also just do a little pincushion cathedral work is really simple and this is the easy way I was taught two ways when I began quilting but this I find much easier than the first way I was taught so I hope you've enjoyed this and have a go at it, use what you've got in your cupboard and see how yours comes out. So now you know how to make a Christmas cathedral window. So I hope that you've enjoyed it and if you have don't forget give us a thumbs up and subscribe and if you'd like to know how to make the cushion cover there is a video on my YouTube channel that will show you exactly how to do that and I just hope you'll join me next time when we're going to do another new project.